Uh, there it is. Yeah. Eating, eating. eating. In his hand, he's. They just finished eating See, the he deer. He doesn't wear right? heels. Right. Right. Just, I'm sitting is here. he the chew like 32 times before <laughs> swallowing kind of guy? He's a, really, he's a really relaxed eater, which you would yes. expect. But I mean, he takes his time. And Atreus is walking away, so maybe he's a vegetarian. So this is cool because this, because we were going to do the no-cut camera, we were looking at being able to have all of the menu systems take place inside the game. So when you would actually change out different moves, you would do that inside the game. But it On proved, the axe blade. Yeah. Wow. It proved to be a little bit too cumbersome and difficult to figure out while getting everything else done. Now this is interesting too, and, and I see a lot of human enemies, they're, they're, you know, there may or may not be human enemies in, in the, the final game, but I mean, that, that's not as much of the focus. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of humans here. Yeah, this was, we, we kind of worked out our bipedal characters first. Okay. So everybody was built on this sort of same bipedal rig that we were animating in the beginning, and then we would tackle creatures after we kind of got all of that stuff. Got working. it. And this was the early portion of really trying to get, what did it feel like to make that axe in hand, stick and feel mm. heavy and weighty, uh, and you know, then started really exploring the fantastic axe throwing, being able to put it away and then go. At, I love this move. We never have used it straight with long, but really good. Yes. That statue actually survived and yep. made it into the final game. Oh, he about to get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, this is this is just. I love this sort of history of game development stuff and. Really a treat to be able to see this rare footage here. Oh, look at this. Yeah, he's getting that two-piece in the biscuit right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you know, from a development perspective, this is like our sketch. Our sketch for what could the future look like. We knew this wasn't really the final uh, look of everything, but it allowed us to explore, you know, what does it, what is it like when Atreus has sort of autonomous moves? Uh, and in this case, it would be Atreus using Kratos' reactions and setups, and then hop, hop oh, over, nice. nail that guy. So, like, that was really good, but it proved very difficult to set that kind of scenario up. So then we started making the autonomous moves be more out in the field. And these are the more directed shots. And that climbing sequence and this area actually ended up making it almost exactly in the game uh, the way that it is now, because uh, we ended up animating the introduction to the ogre, um, over the course of like a month and a half to two months. It took a long time to get that done. Let's see. Almost oh, shot for shot there, and then he comes out and starts talking. He does not like he does not look happy. <laughs> he is not happy. So cool. Wow. Yeah, and this animation really the, uh, was transferred over from our green light to the final game in this same area. Wow. Except... Here, I got the, the thing I really wanted. So when this camera pans around, I kept saying, more enemies, more enemies, right? And then they'd put one more in. I'd be like, no, like 10 more. <laughs> like I want like 100 enemies in there. It's like, <laughs> insane. Uh, but it looked cool. It looked cool. Yeah, that's great. This is crazy. I mean, it looks good here. I mean, the final game looks...